Good morning, everyone. My name is Brad. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, as I drink my coffee, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to give you a little bit of a walk around of my Jeep Gladiator, but specifically, we're going to be looking at some new armor we picked up from a company called Six Monkeys. Um, Daniel with Six Monkeys launched his company, I think about three years ago, he said, and he's been doing mostly um, in the off-road side of things, mostly armor for the Jeep Grand Cherokee, which is how I found him. And maybe some of you guys know him. But I reached out to Daniel because we've got a Gladiator that we use a lot. And we're going to be taking it out west. And I wanted to get a little bit more armor put on this as I'm slowly kind of giving it the old prodigal overland treatment. Things are getting just a little bit rougher. So Daniel was happy to help out. So he put together some really cool stuff for me, and I want to show you guys that today and also let you know that you too can experience some of this great stuff for your Jeep Gladiator. So stick around and see what's coming next. So let me give you a quick rundown of what we got. So I have new sliders from Daniel, which he made in kind of an ingenious way. So you're gonna to wanna to see those. And then I've got a front and rear diff um, guard in the center. And then we've got lower control arm guards and then also kind of a mid, a mid skid plate, a mid skid, a mid skid plate um, because my cross members were getting kind of beat up. So. All right, so let's take a look at these rock rails. What Daniel actually did with these is he used the stock Rubicon base, okay, which is the section here running the whole length. And then he welded on this tubular rail. Um, so it saved him some effort and some time and some cost to me um, to have these stock attachments. I asked Daniel how much more work would this have been for him if he had to kind of fab the whole thing, which he obviously could have. Um, he's it's actually quite a bit more labor, a lot more time. So he was able on these with the stock rails to add these tubes, which are super sturdy, um, to step on all that and, and integrate them with the stock rail, which I thought was really cool. I had to put a, I had to put a badge on there. Oh, for sure. I love it, man. It'll probably stay this this clean. You'll tear it off. <laughs> like yeah, he's gonna rip that off. It's gonna be gone. You think? We took out the cross member. Well, I watched. Daniel took out the cross member. Uh, cause I had it kind of beat beat up, and so he's got me a plate to go over the front, which I'm gonna I'm gonna help him slide into place. So here's an angle of that that cross. Uh, I guess he's calling it a mid skid plate. So he's got cutouts there for the exhaust, um, attaches to my transfer case skid, and then it provides structural support and protection in the front. Above that mid skid is my transmission pan. So that's got some protection there now, um, whereas it didn't before. Here, Daniel's having a hard time with one of the, the bolts that I have in my front differential because it's been hit on some rocks. So he's gonna take a file here and clean it up. Um, while he's working on that, guys, Daniel is offering 5% off with the code PRODIGAL on his website. I'll put a link in this video description so you guys can see that, but it doesn't have to be for a Gladiator. It can be for a Grand Cherokee. Anything he sells, he's gonna give you 5% off with our promo code. We're gonna clean this one up. And guys, here we have the front differential guard, just again to protect that differential. If you've been wheeling in your Jeep, you know that that loves to get hung up on stuff. So here's just a little bit more protection in front. Then we've got a matching one in the back as well. Here's the one in the back. Super easy to put on. I think we had to take out four bolts. 
um, out of that differential housing and then put them back in. So you use the stock bolts to mount these. They mount it up very, very easily, but that's the rear. So front and rear diff guards. Last up then we have our lower control arm skid plates sitting right here. These trailing arms, again, tend to take a beating, uh, which mine certainly did. So we've got just a nice, nice skid plate now over those still allows for good articulation. Um, but yeah, we've got one here and then on the far side there, you can see it from the back. We've got it on that side as well. So that's, that's what we got guys. Front and rear diff, lower control arm skids. We had that mid skid and then we've got these sweet rails. All right, so there you go, guys. That is what we got from Six Monkeys. Basically, I sent pictures of my Jeep to Daniel and said, hey, <laughs> I know I need some rails with a little bit more um, sticking out so I can use that to pivot off of, but I know I also need some Under Armour protection. So he looked at the pictures I sent and fabbed these up for us to kind of make us more complete. I'm sure as we get rolling here, you'll see some more armor trickle in from Six Monkeys. Uh, Daniel's customer service is top notch. He's very easy to get a hold of, and he's a custom shop too. So if you see something you like or or you want things a different color or modified, like he can do that for you and enjoys doing that. And he told me like, I like the challenge of trying new things. So that's what you get with Daniel at Six Monkeys. Um, American made, awesome quality, but just, just a great, great guy. Um, so check them out. Website down in the description. Guys, remember that discount code, Prodigal. 5% uh, off site-wide, doesn't have to be Gladiator, can be Grand Cherokee stuff, can be, uh, he's got a few of those uh, tire carrier mounts, all kinds of stuff. So check him out. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and we will see you again real soon. See, I, I would get under there, but I'm just a little bit bigger than you, so. Yeah. I really enjoy all this play you left Yeah. Did my best.